In hindsight, we accomplished what was required. With Unicron's awakening, extreme measures needed to be taken. Enemies became allies. Allies became confidants. And with the matrix of leadership, the planet Earth was saved. Though at immeasurable personal cost, when Optimus surrendered the Matrix, he lost more than the collective wisdom of the Primes. Who are they? Our mortal enemies! He lost himself. That doesn't follow. Optimus knew Megatron. They were like BFFs. If Optimus did not know his own name, Perhaps it is because the title of Prime hasn't yet been granted to him. Huh? What? Say again? With the power of the Matrix no longer within him, it would stand to reason that Optimus has reverted to his pre-Prime state, the historical archivist, Orion Pax. You mean in his mind? Are you telling me Prime thinks he's some kind of librarian and a Decepticon? Attention, crew. Our guest is currently in isolation to help ease his transition. But when Orion Pax emerges, he is to be shown every courtesy. And the first to address him is Optimus Prime. We'll have their voice box torn out. Lord Megatron, is it wise to allow an Autobot, current or former, full run of the premises? Nothing happens aboard this ship without my knowledge. You would do well to remember that, Arachnid. But there's no need for concern. Orion does not possess the same fight Optimus is so renowned for. Then what use is he to our cause? Ah, rest assured. Orion Pax will indeed earn his stripes. Welcome back to the winning team. Being a Decepticon is a choice, Agent Fowler. One that I have a hard time believing Optimus would make at any point in his life. So if he's riding with the Cons... It's because Megatron's working some kind of voodoo. Orion Pax may not currently be an Autobot up here, but I must believe he will never stop being one in here. We must locate him to know for certain. Hold up. I have a chip lodged in my behind that lets Uncle Sam know when I stop for donuts. Are you telling me you can't just track Prime? Optimus' signal has not reappeared since he embarked for Earth's core. But we must get to work finding him if we have any hope of initiating his contingency plan. Contingency plan? What contingency? Is that even a word? The key card. So what's it do? It grants access to Vector Sigma the repository of the wisdom of the Primes. Is that some sort of supercomputer? So we can just download Optimus's memories back into him? Great! Which one's the big V? Over here? Somewhere in back? Vector Sigma is more than a supercomputer, Jack. It is an ancient source of mystical power. On Cybertron. <laughs> a captive of the Autobots and locked in stasis for quite some time, Orion. Long enough for us to be in Exodus on another world. Exodus? Why? Because the Warlord Ratchet's careless actions 
led to this. Oh. Cybertron. Jackson Darby, you will not be traveling to another planet. I'm in. You're not going either, Miko. Not when one of you can. June's right. Why send a boy to do a bot's job? Because only a Prime can access Vector Sigma. Or one chosen by a Prime. Optimus gave the keycard to Jack. It is now imprinted with his unique biosignature. So you mean Jack's like some kind of honorary Prime? Let's just say Jack is the only one who can return Optimus to the Autobot we knew. But why would Optimus willfully endanger a human? A child? I'm not a child, Mom. Maybe Optimus believes there's more to Jack than meets the eye. All of which is moot. The key card is useless to us without a means of reaching Cybertron, which we at present do not possess. Dude, what about that? Miko, the ground bridge barely got them into Earth's orbit, remember? Yeah, but Ratchet built it. Can you just turbocharge the thing? I cannot believe Ratchet capable of such horrors. Yes, and to think the Doctor of Doom's mad quest for power continues. His marauders pursued us to this planet's orbit. We feel its species are not ready to behold us. But we have resolved to protect this world from the same tragedy which was dealt to our own. One question, Megatron. Why are we called Decepticons? Another Craven Autobot scare tactic. The name was meant to demonize us. Instead, we wear it as a badge of honor. For if speaking the truth is deception, then we are gladly guilty. Now please, Orion, there will be plenty of time for catching up. You must rest. Megatron, I will do my part to stop Ratchet's unspeakable crimes of aggression. This I vow with all my spark. we have successfully achieved control of Orion's spark. Now to put his mind to work. Have you sanitized the data core? Excellent. Our new archivist will require unlimited access to our files. It would be counterproductive for him to stumble upon any sensitive information. Two body slam burger specials. Enjoy. Hey, Jack. Sierra. How come I never see you around? What are you talking about? We have chemistry together. I mean, class. <laughs> chemistry class. I mean, outside of school. I never see you at any parties or the mall. Well, mostly I'm here wearing the hat. And you never can study too hard for the old SATs, you know. And there's some other stuff. Oh, don't go anywhere. Welcome to KO Drive-In. May I take your... 5 p.m., Jack. Your shift is over. Let's go. Oh. That kind of stuff. Sierra, wait! She's my mother. Your mom looks good in leather. On your bike. <sighs> Didn't mean to decimate your social life. Not the first time. Any sign of Optimus? Not today. Not yet. When we stormed the Iacon Hall of Records in the waning days of the war for Cybertron, we acquired highly classified files. Files written with Autobot codes 
which we have been unable to decipher. Autobot codes which the Iacon archivist Orion Pax should have no trouble cracking. Considering what's at stake, shouldn't we beef up the security around here? Knockout. I believe that Orion will perform most effectively if he does not feel threatened or confined in any way. However, it is no coincidence that Orion's workstation is located in direct proximity to the Energon storage vault. Which is under constant surveillance. Well played. Ratchet, are you turbocharging the ground bridge? Tinkering. No need to get anyone's hopes up just yet. Orion, how fares Project Ayakan? I am a bit rusty, I fear. I've only managed to decode three entries. And what do these entries comprise? They were logged by Autobot archivists during the war after I entered stasis. My only knowledge of their contents so far is that they are coordinates, targeting locations on this very planet. I surmise that they could indicate hiding places for vessels shuttled from Cybertron for safekeeping. Such as historical documents or cultural artifacts? My greatest fear would be weapons of mass destruction, hidden away for later use. All the more reason it is essential that we do everything in our power to keep said vessels from Autobot reach. We are fortunate to have you on our side, Orion Pax. Lord Megatron, I am puzzled by one particular finding. I have discovered several historic references to Starscream as your second in command. Yet I have not seen him aboard the ship. Sadly, Commander Starscream is dead. Orion asks many questions. Valuable trade in an archivist, but not in a Decepticon. It is a matter of time before he unravels our fabrications, and his innate sense of right and wrong rises to the surface. I only hope that Orion will complete Project Iacon before I am forced to destroy him once and for all. Agent Fowler, is it Optimus? It's Khans, and they're busting into the same military research lab they hit two months ago. Another space bridge? Before all we know, Optimus is riding with them. Roll out. Aren't you missing someone? Ready for that bridge? We'll be sure to tell the big O you said hello.
What? R.C. Allow me to welcome her aboard. No! If Orion so much as lays eyes on another Autobot, let alone be allowed to witness its destruction, everything he currently believes will be called into question. See to it that R.C. is escorted off this ship immediately. Return to your station, Lord Megatron's orders. motion. What the? You weren't able to determine the Decepticon's location? Or if Optimus was even aboard ship? I... Couldn't confirm. Bronkhead? What? You needed that? Only thing I need is our head honcho back. It's not your fault. If any of us needed rescuing, Optimus would have found a way. I didn't. Simple as that. Ratchet! What happened out there? Reports indicate at least a dozen wounded. The heat's on me to provide some explanation. You bots better get your act together, or the Pentagon will make me shut down your base. But where would you go? Who knows? Maybe they'll ship us out to some island or fire us into space. Wouldn't that be a welcome relief? I don't blame Fowler. Optimus would have evacuated all humans from the area before engaging the cons. We don't actually know what Optimus would have done because he's not here. You're pretty good at stating the obvious, Bulk. Anything else you'd like to mention that we already know? Nothing I can say in front of the children. Hey, aren't we overlooking one positive? Nobody's talking about what the cons just got their claws on. Yes, we managed to allow them to finally acquire a power source for their space bridge. And how exactly would that be a positive? We let them finish building their space bridge. Why? So they can bring more zombies back from Cybertron? No, so we can commandeer it and use it to send me to Cybertron. Whoa, that's a pretty good idea. Oh, well, if Miko thinks it's a good idea. Nobody's saying it will be easy, but you've seized the space bridge before. We blew one up. That's a whole lot different than three of us seizing and holding one. B's right. We'd have to find the thing first. Uh, hello, if it's a space bridge, isn't it? The term space refers to its transport range, not its physical location. And we've been monitoring Earth's orbit since the last one. We'd know if it were there. So the bridge could be somewhere right here on Earth. Like trying to find a servo in a scrapyard. Then maybe we better start looking. But the fact remains. We do not know what the Decepticons have in store for Optimus. Or if he's truly safe from harm.
Starscream. That's Commander Starscream. What's your malfunction? Lower those weapons immediately. I'm sorry, sir, but Lord Megatron ordered that you be taken into custody should you ever return to the ship. What? <sighs> Clearly, there has been a mistake. Previously on Transformers Prime. Optimus has reverted to his pre-prime state, Orion Pax. The key card, what's it do? It grants access to Vector Sigma, an ancient source of mystical power on Cybertron. When we stormed the Iacon Hall of Records in the waning days of the war for Cybertron, we acquired highly classified files, which we have been unable to decipher. It's cons, and they're busting into the same military research lab they hit two months ago. We let them finish building their space bridge. Why? So we can commandeer it and use it to send me to Cybertron. I have not seen him aboard the ship. Commander Starscream is dead. Optimus Prime? Please, I mean no harm. Oh? Then what are you doing here? Research for Lord Megatron. Uh, is this some kind of joke? I do not understand. And why did you call me Optimus Prime? Uh, why wouldn't I? Because my name is Orion Pax. I am far from being a Prime. Uh, you... Reminded me of someone I once knew, that's all. You are Starscream. Yes. Lord Megatron told me you had been terminated. Lord Megatron says many things, only some of which are true. You do not suggest that our leader would speak falsehoods. <laughs> you truly are being kept in the dark, aren't you? Speak in many riddles, Starscream. Please, tell me what it is that you know. And in return... Starscream, surrender! Die! Hold your fire! Remain in the lab. But I... Lord Megatron's orders. <laughs> Raphael, is the test subject ready? Check. Long-range GPS activated. I have doubts whether my recalibrations have successfully extended ground bridge range, but there is only one way to find out.
It was just the first try. No, Raphael. It was pure folly. A misguided act of desperation. It takes eons to master space bridge engineering. And no one is more accomplished than the Decepticons. You know, there's this thing in gym class where you have to climb a rope all the way to the ceiling. It's really hard, and I've never been able to do it. But when I told B about it, he believed in me, which made me practice a ton. Finally, just a couple of weeks ago, I made it to the top. What does any of this have to do with gym class? I, I, I was just... <sighs> I'll give you some alone time. Optimus, I am so sorry. Orion, I'm so sorry for the recent commotion. You weren't in any way harmed, were you? No, Lord Megatron. But why did you tell me Starscream was dead? Because he is dead to our cause. Starscream was my most trusted lieutenant until he turned traitor and joined the Autobots. Never have I witnessed a more profound act of deceit. He did not do or say anything troubling to you. No. Good. Perhaps it's best to forget the entire incident and return to your project. As you wish, my lord. Orion was never very adept at the art of deception. I made a mistake not terminating Starscream when I had the opportunity. A mistake I do not intend to make again. No sign of Energon spikes. RC or B find a space bridge? They haven't yet reported back. Ratchet, you all right? Hmm? Yes. Yes, let's just get you to the next quadrant. What is it? A high-frequency signal with an embedded message. For me? Optimus? Starscream, I have obtained information regarding your leader. Bring medical kit. Come alone. you to come alone and since when do we listen to you where is optimus patch me up and perhaps i'll tell you <sighs> have sympathy i'm leaking here then i suggest that you speak quickly has optimus been harmed in any way he's fine fine can't you see i'm the one who's been harmed where is he where do you think? He's on Megatron's warship. Which is located where? <laughs> now? Who knows? It's a ship. It moves. It took me months to track, only to get fired upon. You wouldn't go to the trouble of calling me here unless you had information to trade. Real information. <sighs> Very well. Your beloved leader may have lost his senses. He goes by the name Orion Pax now. And it seems Megatron has led him to believe he's a Decepticon. <laughs> Tell us something we don't know. What? How could you possibly know that? We're wasting our time. Wait, that's all I have? Really? You can't just leave me like this! Unless you know where Megatron's hiding his space bridge, you can stay here and rust. Uh, space bridge? 
Do you mean to tell me that they actually finished building it without my supervision? <laughs> it hurts most right here, Doctor. The Decepticon Space Bridge is located right here, deep within an Energon mine. Adjacent to a raw fuel supply. Clever. What's our intel? A reliable source. So, do we have a consensus? Do we know if people can even breathe your atmosphere? I'll hook Jack up. Completely state-of-the-art. I still have connections at NASA. It's too dangerous. Mom, I know that this is hard, but Optimus risked his life to save our planet, and he's not even human. We owe it to him. Jack may be the only one who can do this, June, but I don't want you to think for one moment that I'll allow him to travel unchaperoned. Not everyone is destined for an ordinary life. Optimus Prime was once Orion Pax, after all. When you were little, you always wanted to be an astronaut? Okay. Optimus Prime. Oh, Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobot invaders. I reminded Starscream of him. And Lord Megatron said Ratchet was the Autobot leader. Someone is not telling the truth. We will ground bridge directly into the Energon mine and make our way to the space bridge chamber, neutralizing any Decepticon forces we encounter. Once we secure the space bridge, we'll send for Jack. Stealth must be an absolute priority. We will most certainly be outnumbered, and if any Decepticon should transmit an alert to their warship... The odds become 400 to 1. Scrambling communications upon entry will certainly provide an edge in this regard. Taking the bridge is the easy part. You three need to hold it long enough for Jack and me to get to Cybertron and back. Raphael climbed to the top of the rope in gym class. We can do this. What does gym class have to do with anything? And if Ratchet gets to go in a commando raid, I'm going to. Miko, you will help Raphael operate our ground bridge and manage the communications hub. Oh, can go to Cybertron, can storm the Decepticon space bridge. And Nurse Darby will stand by in case of emergency. Son, it's time to suit up. Clear. Clear. Command, this is Space Bridge Control. We are under attack. Starscream. Who else would it be? A masterpiece of engineering. Operational? Fully. Perimeter secured. 
Now the scary part. I'm shutting down the Scrambler in order to contact base and maintain communication through the remainder of the mission. Strike team to base. Objective secured. That's your cue. Bring me back a souvenir. So, what happens when you have to go to the bathroom? Safe journey, son. Just go already. Optimus needs you. Locking on the Cybertron. You ready? Let's do this. I'll leave the Space Bridge portal open in order to eliminate any communication lag over the great distance and make it easier for you to locate when you're ready to return. Easier to locate? You're not bridging us straight to the Big V? Vector Sigma's true location is shrouded in myth and rumor, Jack. It is said the path of the Primes leads there. We must be confident that Optimus will guide you. Don't worry. Space bridging is just like ground bridging. Just a little more intense! I can't believe it. I'm actually on another planet. RC, this is incredible. RC? This isn't how I wanted you to see my home. I'm... I'm sorry. In the fog of war, it's hard to see beyond the next leg of the mission. Or the next punch in the fight. We did everything to save Cybertron. But when the fog finally lifted, there wasn't much left to save. RC, Jack, do you copy? Roger. We're on Cybertron. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Just keep the sightseeing to a minimum, huh? Indeed. We don't know if your journey ahead is five clicks or five thousand. Understood. We're out. Okay. Ratchet said the card would guide us, but I don't see how or what I'm supposed to... There you go. This could be a while. Space Bridge Control, do you read me? Space Bridge Control, this is Breakdown. Your status report is overdue. Scrap. <clears throat> Vulcan, no. You'll recognize your voice. Oh, I can make it lower. Higher? He would recognize mine as well. Come in, Space Bridge Control. Don't make me come down there and dent some engine blocks. Somebody say something. Bravo! Raphael, patch in Agent Fowler. You have one nanocycle to respond to. This or is Space Bridge Control? Situation normal. Normal? You sure about that? We were just calibrating the subsystems, and we, uh, had a surge. But it's fine now. How are you? Uh, uh, never better. I know it's thankless down there. Keep up the good work, huh? Will do. Control out. 
Why would the Decepticon archives be so heavily encrypted? the completion of Project Hayakan. That way. Toward Kaon? The Decepticon capital. Swell. on foot from here. Don't want engine noise to attract the wrong kind of attention. Cons? Vermin. This way. on Transformers Prime. With the power of the Matrix no longer within him, it would stand to reason that Optimus has reverted to his pre-prime state, a high-frequency signal with an embedded message. Where is Optimus? Unless you know where Megatron's hiding his space bridge. Space bridge? They actually finished building it without my supervision! Once we secure the space bridge, We'll send for Jack. You three need to hold it long enough for Jack and me to get to Cybertron and back. How could I possibly be Optimus Prime? Vector Sigma's true location is shrouded in myth and rumor, Jack. It is said the path of the Primes leads there. Must be close. Vector Sigma's down here? Kaon didn't always belong to the Decepticons. Megatron took it as their capital, apparently without ever realizing what lay beneath their feet.
We're being attacked by some kind of giant bot beetle. An Insecticon. A what? What are Decepticons doing on Cybertron? A few remained in stasis. Sentries, should the enemy return. <laughs> Seriously? Without RC? She's his guide. No, Nurse Darby. RC is Jack's backup. The key card is his guide. Do it! Listen to her, Jack. You've made it this far. Optimus is counting on you. Roger that, Mom. Have you made progress with Project Iacon? It seems I am a bit rustier than I thought. Might that have anything to do with the nature of your after-hours research? Did I fail to mention that we would be tracking your activities? Why does history portray me siding with the Autobot aggressors? And why did Starscream call me a prime? I must know. Who am I? You are my clerk. Now get back to work and decode that database. No. I would rather erase my findings than make them available for your questionable use. documenting every iota of your invaluable research? One of our sentries was activated on Cybertron. You told me our planet was dead. That is beside the point. Guards! You will finish Project Iacon by the time I return, or I will carve out your spark before your very eyes. Activity log indicates my space bridge was set for Cybertron and remains open. The only possible reason the Autobots would take such a risk would be to restore their precious Optimus Prime.
Hey, everyone. I'm in. Sweet! Commencing download, I think. Soon, Optimus. No one told you to stop, Pax. I believe Megatron intends to use whatever he finds in Project Iacon to harm the Autobots. Please, we can warn them. Oh. This is taking a while. Of course it is. We are talking about the collective wisdom of the Primes. Why did it have to be scraplets? If they chew through Vector Sigma before the Matrix fully reloads... So, Vector Sigma is more than legend. You Autobots have gone to impressive lengths to recover your leader. Be assured, I shall never underestimate you again. I assume the one called RC will be stepping through that portal with a reloaded matrix of leadership in hand. We hold the space bridge at all costs.
Hey guys, the main course. Matrix. Let's roll. You have to admit, it's a privilege to stomp the former leader of the Autobots. We have the Matrix. We're coming through. Ratchet? Something's wrong. We can't not go through, can we? so that I might end the lineage of the Primes for all time. I cannot allow that to happen, Megatron. Then why should you care, Orion Pax? You are no Prime. That may be true, or yet another deception. But this much I do know. My sympathies lie with the Autobots, and you are not one of us. Your spark may be in the right place, Orion. But you have much to learn before you can hope to ever again stand your ground against me. A moment, sadly, which shall never come.
Megatron. Be gone. Ratchet, how did we arrive here? Long story, old friend. Base to RC. We're reading five Autobot life signals down there. Is Prime with you? And Jack. Yes! Oh. It's ours! Autobots, fall back! This time, he's coming with us! there is much I do not remember. Optimus, it has truly been our darkest hour. But know this, from every indication, your spark never ceased being that of an Autobot. You detected the ancient Autobot frequency precisely because it was unearthed. Well, our backup shouldn't be far behind. Without knowing what the Decepticons have exhumed, I do not think I am willing to wait. Show me. Bring it to me with utmost care. Megatron, I cannot allow you to pilfer Autobot relics. Not only are you misinformed, Optimus, but I would strongly advise you to lower your weapons. Unless you're in the mood for mutually assured destruction. It can't be. The Spark Extractor. Rather unassuming, yet capable of extracting every spark within its radius. And to think that you led me straight to it, Optimus. Or should I say, Orion Pax did. You really should have left your Decepticon shield intact. 
For you have no idea how useful your code-breaking skills proved to be during our all too brief time together. Soundwave, send the ground bridge. Engage them! Loop, huh? <laughs> you have some brass bearings, Bumblebee. Optimus. Here, the source of the ancient frequency we detected. An Iacon homing beacon. What's an Autobot locator doing on that? The Class A Decepticon weapons confiscated during the war were sealed within the vaults below Iacon where you once worked as an archivist. Iacon was both a cultural center and a stronghold, which Megatron raided when Autobot troops were at their nadir. It stands to reason that in anticipation of Iacon being overrun by enemy forces, these weapons were jettisoned off-world to keep them far from Decepticon reach. Clearly, the beacon was added as a safety measure should the weapons ever be found by the undesired party. Well, thanks to our hotshot stunt driver, this one's going in our vault. Do you think this is the only intel you supplied to Megatron? RC, you are right to ask. And I am afraid I do not remember. Optimus, Megatron clearly took advantage of your amnesia. But for all we know, this spark extractor is the extent of it. Have you stopped to consider that he might have suggested otherwise merely to plague your thoughts? The spark extractor was in my grasp! I should have removed more than that scout's voice box when I had the chance. Indeed, Soundwave. We possess two more sets of coordinates which Orion decrypted before departing our ranks. Let us see what other long-lost treasures we might be reunited with. Pick up the same signal. Could be another homing beacon. Let's rendezvous with the coordinates. Silas, another one's headed toward our position. Estimated arrival, two minutes. Work briskly. It 
would appear the signal was a trap. Better Bumblebee than me. The backup is ahead of schedule. As luck would have it. So am I. Move out. this cons one way to find out come on You can fix me, can't you? Bumblebee was hit pretty hard. The stun blast may have fried his teacog. Is that like a T-bone? Not exactly. It's the organ that allows us to scan vehicles and transform. By the AllSpark. Bumblebee's teacog isn't damaged. It's missing. But the Decepticons transform too. Why would they steal that? Megatron may be known to raise zombies, but he's no ghoul. If Megatron wasn't behind this, then who was? The ones who cannibalized Breakdown. And tried to gut me. Mech. And it would appear their knowledge of Cybertronian biotech has grown more sophisticated. But why would they want Bumblebee's part? Bumblebee, please. You are not presently equipped to handle this. You are mistaken, my friend. I do know what it's like to lose a vital part of oneself. And as a result, I know the value of putting one's faith in the strength of those around you. We vow to do everything in our power to make you whole again. And if not, Ratchet can just make you a new cog thing, right? What'd I say? Miko, a T-Cog is a biomechanism, not a scrapyard find. If it were that easy, don't you think I would have replaced Bumblebee's voice box by now? You're not useless, B. I say none of us transform until Bumblebee gets his cog back. Your spark's in the right place, Bulkhead. But I don't think now is the time to be limiting ourselves. Not with Megatron potentially seeking other Doomsday devices. And I fear, not while Mech uses Bumblebee's T-Cog for their own sinister purpose. Beta test. Installation complete. Commencing scan. Scan successful. Commencing transformation. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are the ones who turned poor breakdown into a pitiful science experiment. Didn't learn much from the experience, did you? Enough to know where the soft spots are, Decepticon. Oh, please. I am no longer affiliated with that entity. Besides, if I were here to avenge the Big Lug, you would be screaming for mercy by now. Why are you here? To propose an alliance. You see, we have much more in common than you might think. And I am not merely referring to our battle scars. What could I possibly gain from such an arrangement? Insider knowledge. Wise choice. Now, a TCOG isn't technology, it is biology. Which means it will reject any power source other than Energon. Go on. Energon is the fuel, the ammunition, and the lifeblood of all Cybertronians, whatever their affiliation. You and I both want it, and currently I lack the means of locating it. But once I supply you with the <coughs> particulars of its chemical makeup, We can utilize your considerable resources to devise a means of detecting new deposits for us to share. If the supply meets Mech's rather significant demand. Ah, intending to build an army, are you? I am no stranger to ambition. <laughs> Optimus and Bulkhead haven't reported in yet. Bumblebee, I will let you know the moment I hear something. Oh, for Primus' sake. Will someone keep him occupied so I can get some work done? Hey, B, how about a video game? Sorry. Hey, no big deal. That game's lame. What do you say we watch some TV? The new Urbana 500. It won't just rock your world. It will transform it. Taking the auto out of an Autobot is so not a good thing. B, come on. You're just as amazing without wheels. I mean, speed isn't everything. Personal best, RC. You hit 120 easy. Uh oh. oh. Bumblebee, where do you think you're going? You can't just go for a walk. We are robots in disguise. Leaving the base in this form puts you at risk of being seen and of us being discovered. You'll just have to remain in the silo until... <coughs> yes, Bumblebee. Until I can fix you. In you go. Thanks for the lift home, friend of Jack's mom, who's a nurse at, at, at the hospital. Where are the others? Jack's at work. Miko's in detention. Again. I was expecting Bulkhead. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint, but he's on watch duty. You want to ride with the siren on? No, thank you. <laughs> 
This could be it. I'll alert the others. I know you and I can handle it, B, but there's no reason to... What are you trying to prove? <sighs> Ratchet, what happened to Bumblebee's voice box? It was severely damaged in battle. How? How do you think? Tragically, of course. It happened to Tiger Pax. How a brave scout was captured by Megatron's forces and interrogated. But he refused to provide intel and paid a grave price for his courage. Bumblebee was left for scrap, but Autobot troops found him and evacuated him to a triage facility where a field medic managed to stabilize his condition. So we owe Bumblebee's life to that field medic. That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Though the medic could have done better. Clear. I still don't know how you talked me into this. You're worse than Miko. Yeah, 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 I know. Not every mission ends in a high-speed pursuit, but without your... <sighs> Fine, I'll drop it. But if Optimus finds out, this was not my idea. Signal's coming from over there. And it's coming our way, fast! Catch me if you can! I'll get him. Okay, you get him. Sporting of you. You're not even gonna try and shoot up my tires? Bumblebee, where's your famous horsepower, huh? Show me some speed! some donuts around you, but I have a delivery to make. Previously on Transformers Prime. Ratchet, what happened to Bumblebee's voice box? how a brave scout was captured by Megatron's forces and interrogated. Bumblebee was left for scrap, where a field medic managed to stabilize his condition, though the medic could have done better. By the Allspark, Bumblebee's T-Cog isn't damaged. It's missing. Is that like a T-Bone? It's the organ that allows us to scan vehicles and transform. Why are you here? To propose an alliance. A T-Cog isn't technology. It is biology. We possess two more sets of coordinates, which Orion decrypted before departing our ranks. Let us see what other long-lost treasures we might be reunited with. Of all the scrap-brained ideas, Taking Bumblebee into a potential chase scenario when he no longer has the ability to access his wheels? He improvised. Hey, Bee's waking up. <laughs> You've already lost your voice box and your T-Cog. Were you really trying to add your spark to the list? 
Wow. Don't say that, Bumblebee. You're not useless. Look, I hate to break up the pity party, but the cons just added unknown icon payday number two to their armory. Neither blame nor praise will modify past events. But we cannot afford to take further unnecessary risks. Bumblebee, you are not to leave our base. Not until we can retrieve your missing biomechanism. Bumblebee is right to be less than hopeful. But you and I both know there exists a way to make him whole again. A transplant. But that would require a donor. You need look no further than the Autobot standing before you. A generous offer, old friend. But your solution would merely trade one Autobot's handicap for another's. I don't rely upon my T-Cock. Not like Bumblebee does. The ability to transform is virtually wasted on me. This is where I spend my days, where my thoughts and hands are of value, not my weapons or wheels. Our team can't afford to be shy even one warrior in the field. You make a compelling case. But know that we will find Bumblebee's T-Cog. Optimus, Mech, are savages. Who knows what damage they may have already inflicted upon it? Or, or if I will be able to repair it? Ratchet, you did everything in your power. <laughs> Please. Do you really think this is simply about my inability to restore Bumblebee's voice box? I... I just want to do what's right. For our scout. For the team. Ah, excellent work, Knockout. I live to serve, Lord Megatron. But what exactly is it? Now you know. I think I leaked a little transmission fluid. Source located. Yes, gratifying, isn't it, Silas? I often advised Megatron to seek out human allies. After all, it seems to provide the Autobots with an occasional edge. But despite his reputation as a brilliant strategist, Megatron is woefully small-minded when it comes to working with minds smaller than our own. Uh, he was simply referring to head size. Do you ever not speak? <sighs> Did I mention that I have personally extinguished an Autobot? Energon, in its purest state. Ready to be mined. And processed my flesh-covered compatriot to give us the edge. Obviously, since I am the other patient involved, I will be unable to perform the surgery. Therefore, one of you must serve as my proxy. Mm -mm. Better at breaking things. Whew. R.C. Optimus has steadier hands. Steady, and much too large to be rooting around beneath my hood. <sighs> RC, you can do this. You're steely as they come. On a battlefield, not in an operating theater. Same thing, as long as you're behind the knife, not under it. <sighs> Does this mean Bumblebee's gonna transform into an ambulance from now on, or be all cranky? 
because that would be weird. Inducing stasis. <laughs> you can thank me when it's over. Okay, Bumblebee. Your turn. What's happening? Ratchet's flatlining! No, he isn't. It's an Iacon homing beacon. If we're picking up the signal, it means the Khan's just unearthed another relic. Autobots, prepare to roll out. Yes! Except for our patience. It would be best to interrupt stasis. just received access to satellite imagery, which I believe pinpoints the center of operations of men. Oh, for the love of, give me someone who speaks something other than fleet. I can help. What? Do I hear a Fuzor in need of voice box repair? What's a Fusor? What's going on over there? I am able. Just ask Ben Tor. He was all mandrill before I put a tiger in his tank. But B, you heard what Optimus said about leaving the base. Send the coordinates, Agent Fowler. We'll make sure Optimus gets them. Get it. All this chipping away with my hammer. Just to bring Megatron another hammer? That hammer is a sacred relic of the 13 original primes. Really? Isn't that the opposite of Decepticon Doomsday device? It would stand to reason that in addition to confiscated Decepticon artillery, any artifacts of great significance stored in the vaults of Icon would also have been shipped off-world. And none would be greater than this, the Forge of Solus Prime. For it possesses the power to mystically infuse raw material with working mechanisms. As in, if we had it, we could pound any weapon we can dream of into existence? Or possibly construct a new T-Cog for Bumblebee. Initiate transfusion. It's working. Energon, it will do wonders for our future army. Your future army. In fact, we are mere moments from beholding the miracle of transformation. No T-Cog, he's unarmed.
time to get a grip. My new finish protector. And yet. Our location and prototype have been compromised. Destroy the intruder and meet me at the rendezvous point with my T card. I am not one of your foot soldiers. I am a consultant. <laughs> one step, and your precious biomech is scrapped. Ratchet, how you feeling? Fine. In fact, I feel as though nothing's changed. Prime! What is it, Agent Fowler? Has Prime reached the coordinates? Coordinates? Possible mech location! I sent him a half hour ago! Uh, don't worry, Agent Fowler. It's taken care of. Optimus had to go lock fenders with some cons. So, Bumblebee went instead. What? Bumblebee can't do that! He's recovering from surgery! How about that? Oh, you'll what? Shoot? How sad to be incapable of achieving vehicle mode. Experiencing the sensation of speed. How very pathetic to be a failure as an Autobot. My T-Cog. Yes, that. Unfortunately, it was destroyed during the ferocity of battle. A temporary setback. Other Autobots, other T-Cogs. We shall find a replacement soon enough. Not soon enough. Now. use of a shield generator in a supporting role, the winner is Knockout!
mine's bigger. here on Earth. The Decepticon cause is once again indebted to the contributions of Orion Pax. Oh. Uh. I'm fine. Optimus, we have reason to believe we have located Mech's center of operations. Bumblebee is already there. Open the ground bridge and prepare for surgery. Thanks to me, Megatron has the forge. While we would have put the forge of Solus Prime to valuable use, I do not believe we have reason to fear Megatron's possession of it. doesn't look like a Fortress Maximus grade nucleon shock cannon. It is as I suspected. Without the power of a prime to activate it, the forge is merely another addition to our tool chest. One we must nonetheless keep as far as possible from the reach of a prime. I did what I could. Our scout could not have been in better hands, old friend. And we didn't stick with plan A and let Ratchet donate his cog, why? Bumblebee wouldn't accept it. Bumblebee, easy. Please, recovery takes time. The damage was severe. Looked like it was ready for the scrapyard. Hard to believe the doc repaired it. That is not all that Ratchet repaired today. <laughs> <laughs> 